हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय अनदर वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन मैटलैब फॉर बिगिनर्स कोर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू प्रिंट दिस सीक्वेंस दैट इज 1 देन 1 1 देन 1 1 1 देन 1 1 1 1 देन 1 1 1 1 1 एंड इट इज गो ऑन लाइक दिस ओके सो फॉर प्रिंटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ सीक्वेंस in any programming language whether you are considering java or python or c or c++ or matlab there is no particular rule for printing this you have to understand the sequence that on which basis it is following there is a particular rule that uh, which is it, which it is following but you have to understand that by heat and trial method okay there is no particular rule for this so if you very carefully observe this sequence how it is going on See one is there, then eleven. So see ten plus one is eleven, right? So what I am getting an idea that if I add the first element with ten, I am getting the second element. So let us check for another. See if you add ten with eleven, whether you will get this one one one? No. So one hundred to get one hundred eleven, what I have to do? See here, if I multiply. 11 with 10, then that will become 110. Then if I add 1, then it will become 111. So is it the rule? Let us check for first case again. So suppose uh, if you multiply 10 for first element, suppose 0. If previous element is 0, right? So 10 into 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay, it is matching. So let us go for the this case. 1 1 1 1. So previous element is 1 1 1. So 10 into 111 is 1110 plus 1 is 1111. Okay, so this is the rule. So the rule what we are getting is x equal to 10 star x plus 1. That is new element. That is current x is nothing but previous x value into 10 plus 1. Okay, in this way, if we apply the loop, we will get this sequence. Very simple, right? So let us try to first build up the code. So x equal to input. Enter the number up to which you want to print. Okay, I am not writing uh, that bigger lines. You just write according to your choice. Okay, there is no issue. Now, now what you have to do? Obviously, one for loop I have to. Okay, first let me the line main line that is x equal to ten star x plus. One, right? Now, obviously, you have to use this multiple times. So, for I am using this for loop one colon x i equal to one colon x. So, let me give some other variable. Art, otherwise, it may make some error. T equal to ten star t plus one. Okay, and end it here. So, is the job is done? No. See, what we have to do initially t is not Uh, mentioned what is the initial value of t, and moreover, you just from the sequence itself you can get an idea that what can be the initial value of t. See, the first element is one, right? So to print one, ten into t, this term should be zero. So t should be obviously what? Nothing but zero, right? So t is equal to zero. You just write, okay? So this step is also over. Now to get the sequence. As I told you already in my Fibonacci series videos, so there I told you first you have to define an empty matrix, and then before ending the for loop, you should here define the empty matrix with the variable inside it, space the variable where you are storing the data, that is t, right? So this is also what is the job is done. No, i equal to i plus one also I have to do, but there is no need to do because i will automatically inter. In Implemented here, so if you want to write, you just write i equal to i plus one, but there is no particular application of this. So better to take not to take this. Better not to take this. Okay. So let us do this code. I hope this code should run. So Control A, evaluate selection. Okay. So see here, here first line. I forgot to give. Let me one second. CLC now evaluate selection. Enter the number. Suppose I write five and click enter. Then 
it is simulated has not shown any error so now in y variable our output should be there so write y and click enter and see what you are getting 1 then 1 1 then 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 1 if you want to do more do no issue evaluate selection enter the number 10 just write y see what we are getting see here now it becomes exponential function so if you take very high value then it is very hard to understand so don't take that much higher values so let me take uh, show you for 7 okay so why see 1 then 1 1 then 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 and then 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay so it is performing our certain task so in this way you can uh, just look the sequence clearly surely you will find a pattern sometimes you may have to do certain manipulations right uh, like you can check with 2n plus 1 3n plus 1 2n minus 1 3n minus 1 n square minus 1 n square plus 1 like this where n is the position index Another, uh, sometimes you may get sequence like n into n plus 1 by 2 by modifying that uh, the sum of n natural numbers also you can you may get the sequence like that you just these are the some standard rules to check this for the sequence so this is all for my this video thank you for watching